a history of the world in ten and a half chapters. Scene one, action. Chapter one. Behold, it is Noah and his ark alongside all of his majestic creatures. <laughs> hmm. It is now time to separate the clean from the unclean. In other words, survival of the fittest. Unclean. Clean. Unclean. Mm-hmm. What to do with this one? Clean. The unclean animals are unaware of what will happen next. I hereby banish you animals from my ark. <laughs> Noah was a very jealous man and he annihilated the unicorn because he was jealous of its perfection. I don't know how best to break the sea, but Noah was not a nice man. I realize this idea is embarrassing since you are all descended from him. Still, there it is. He was a monster. A puffed up patriarch who spent half his day groveling to his god and the other half taking it out on us. Nobody knows we're on board. Nobody thought that we were capable of surviving this voyage. But look at us now. Scene 2. Action. Holes open at about 7 a.m. and will close around 8 p.m. The location of your polling place is shown on the back cover of this book there. As seen in the back cover, make sure you take the top edge. Get down! If you're Get down! Stay on the floor! Can I use the restroom? Get back down on the floor, old lady! Why are you doing this? We are doing this because your government does not want to give us back our land. To kill a Zionist civilian is to kill a soldier. You have until 10 to deliver a speech to the audience and tell them what's going on. I won't do it. If I do, will, will, will you ensure me my wife's safety? He was being asked to choose between two equally repellent ideas. That of abandoning his girlfriend while retaining his integrity or rescuing his girlfriend by justifying a group of innocent people while it was right that they should be killed. They have nothing against us. All they have is a terrible hatred for our government. And if our government does not cooperate with them, they will kill two of us every hour on the hour. Well, well, one hour has passed and your government has still not responded. Please don't! Stand up! No! Scene three. We, the inhabitants of the Mamarol, conjure the worms to depart, hateful and intolerable as they are, under pain of condemnation, anathema, and excommunication from the Holy Church and the domination of God. Order. According to the jury, in the name and by virtue of God, the omnipotent, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and of Mary, the most blessed mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the authority of the holy apostles Peter and Paul, as well as by that which has made us a functionary in this case, having fortified ourselves with the holy cross, and having before our eyes the fear of God, we had admonish the aforesaid woodworm, woodworm, my bad, a detestable vermin, and command them under pain of mal malediction, anathema, and excommunication to quit within seven days of the church of St. Michael in the village of Memorial. Scene four, action. You're just mad because you're on your period. Oh my God, I swear. Sometimes maybe you want the word and it just needs to be proved wrong. Oh my. Oh. Ah. Wait, come back, babe. Oh my God. I'm just gonna get all my things and leave! Catherine took off on a boat with her two cats, and while on the boat, she began to have nightmares every night. Greg! Greg, no! Watch out for the giant fried chicken! Ah! In her nightmares, a man would come to talk to her every night. 
No. Robert, stay away. <laughs> Catherine, wake up. Wake up, Catherine. No, no, you again. Nothing's fine. It was just a dream, Catherine. Wake up. Oh, okay. Scene 5. Catastrophe turned into art. Cause you know this hair just ain't doing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're never gonna find those artists. Oh, almost there. Uh. <laughs> oh, the cave. Give me that. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of spiders. Uh. While in the cave. Miss Ferguson asks Miss Logan to be excused so she can talk to the Indian. <sighs> What's so dark in there? Miss Ferguson became very feeble and requested that she be left alone to lay in the mountain. Her request was, I shall remember the Holy Scripture and wait for God's will. On this mountain, God's will is quite manifest. I cannot imagine a happier place from which to be taken unto him. An earthquake had erupted and Mrs. Logan and the guide were asked to go look into the village. Mrs. Logan later found out that this was a plan for Miss Ferguson and the guide and what they were talking about when Miss Logan was excused, that there were two explanations of everything, that each required their exercise of faith and that we had been given free will in order that we might choose between them. Scene seven, story one. Oh wait, wrong Titanic. Lawrence Beasley was the only person on deck to survive the crash. survived. Lawrence Beasley was able to survive by dressing as a woman and on a wider scale theorists maintain that life amounted to the survival of the fittest. Did not the Beasley hypothesis prove that the fittest were merely the most cunning? Story 2 of section 7. Jonah gets swallowed by a whale. No whale! No! 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 It's hot in here. Uh, what's going on? Oh my god. Oh, it's all slimy on there. Ah! Oh my god. It's his tongue. Oh my god. It smells. Oh, he needs to brush his teeth. Section 7, Story 3. At 8 p.m. on Saturday, 13th May 1939, the liner St. Louis left its home port of Hamburg. These refugees were not accepted by any other country. Cuba. Let us in. Please, we're those refugees. You have money? No. Then no. Britain, let us in. Please. You got money? No. Deuces. In the days that followed, Holland agreed to take in 194 refugees, Britain 350, and France 250. After a voyage of 100,000 miles, the St. Louis docked at Antwerp, 300 miles from its port of departure. On September 1st, the Second World War began, and the passengers from the St. Louis shared in fate of European Jewry. Their chances rose and fell depending upon the country to which they had been allotted. Estimates of how many survived vary. Darling, just time for a card. We're leaving half an hour. Had our last night on the Jimmy Walker. Now it's local fire water or nothing. Remember what I said on the phone. You don't have a cut too short. Love you. Your circus strongly. Hey, good looking. Sorry it's been a while since I wrote to you, but the director wanted us to go into the jungle to get a better scene. I might be gone a while, but I'll be back soon. And this will all be worth it. Yours truly. Hey, babe. It's been two weeks and you haven't written to me. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's that I'm not receiving the mail. But anyways, I'm having a good time here. We met some Indians and, well, they're pretty cool. 
Hopefully you get these letters and get back to me. I'm feeling kind of lonely without your letters. I think I know why you're not responding to my letters. Is it because that you're still mad? If you are, please don't be. All that's in the past. We'll get over it. But please, just write back to me. Okay, you don't answer my phone calls and you won't write back. Listen, bitch. Why don't you just get out of my life and just get out? You always fuck things up anyways. When I get back home on the 15, I expect all your shit and your possessions to be out. Just leave the key on the doorstep. Section 9, take 1. Spike Tigler is on a mission to the moon. And while on the moon, hears a voice. And that voice is from God. Spike. Find Noah's Ark. <laughs> I think that's a cave. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Noah, it's Noah's skeleton. It's Noah's bones. No. I think we need to test his bones to see if it really is Noah. After the two tested out the bones, they came to the conclusion that it was not the bones of Noah. They were the bones of Mrs. Ferguson. <laughs> Scene 10, take one. Breakfast is served. Yeah, this is what I want. This is heaven. Unlimited food. Anything I can have. Unlimited sex. What more do I want in this life? I'm kind of getting tired of this. Same thing over and over again. No more pizza. I don't want nothing. Look, I've been thinking. Is there any way everything could be normal? Back how it used to be? No, that's how the old heaven was. This is the new heaven. 